Hey guys, it's Uppy here. I'm with Colin Lilly. Hello, Colin. <laughs> you good? I'm good, thank you. How are you? How's your morning been? Hey, rush, 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 but it's fun. It's a city. It's a bit, it's a bit faster paced than the Northern Territory, so uh, rush, rush, rush. I went to Northern Territory for the first time a couple of weeks ago for Burunga Festival. Oh, wonderful. And um, yeah, you're right. A lot quieter. <laughs> a lot more chill. <laughs> yeah, a lot more relaxed, a lot more uh, NT time, you know? Yeah. Um, look, uh, with the election coming up on Saturday, I feel like you may have been influenced by it quite a bit with this new song, Renegade, you've got. I read that it was um, a middle finger to authority. Yeah, I think one being Scottish yep. uh, and having to put up with, uh, growing up with uh, being a minority. Uh, definitely, I had that actually given a finger to the uh, establishment. Yeah. Uh, and I, I do believe that that we're, it's, now's a time for for the for a change mm. on how we think and approach our uh, way of looking at at, at at change. You know, because that's what politics is. Politics yep. is about changing. Uh, but unfortunately, it seems that we're not doing that at the moment. So. Well, speaking of change, Brexit, hey? Yeah. <laughs> well, those poor, those poor, uh, how do we put, those poor English youth. Yeah. Uh, they're starting to feel a bit like how the the youth of Scotland have always felt. Yeah. Uh, that they don't have a voice. Uh, they're not being heard. Uh, and unfortunately, the old people are basically dictating to what they're going to be doing. So hopefully, that's going to bring some real, real big change. Big change, yeah. Uh, not just not just for the European Union, but also to do with how people think about politics now and how they look at it and and how they. They want to be represented uh, within parliament and politics. Yeah, and then knowing that your actions have actual repercussions yep. for the future. Yep. I, I yep. don't think people realise that when they voted leave. Well, it, it, it's not as if there was a lot of people voting. Uh, there yeah. was like a, 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 it, it wasn't a majority vote or anything like that. It was basically there was just those people who were interested. Yeah. And they went at a vote. It's a pity. Uh, well, the, you know, and it's a pity for those people who have weren't old enough to, to vote. That's I, it. I do know for the referendum in Scotland, they lowered the age to 16. Yeah. And I feel they should have lowered the age for uh, to, to 16 mm. for this referendum, so the, the the young could have the youth could have had a good uh, voice as well. What was the age? 21 or 18? Uh, 18. 18. 18. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, well, yeah. Can you tell us a bit more about the song, if you you know? Um... Yeah. Well, the the song itself. Uh, I wrote this song because I was extremely angry about what what, what I perceive as is a, a stagnant world, yeah. uh, and we're basically stuck in a, you know, I, I'm not a spring chicken, but I certainly have seen like a, a, a life circles, and it just seems that nobody seems to uh, learn from the past, mm. so we end up stuck in these circles where we uh, it doesn't matter what generation it is, we end up getting to an age where everybody's just doing the same as what the generation before did and mm. what the generation which then tells me that there's a level of fear to make change uh, and for me that's it, it, that's to do with religion, it's to do with politics, mm. it's to do with personal uh, that, that's, it, it, it's more about my personal challenges as well, it's more about me saying no more, I'm going to make a change, I will change you know. and along the way I'll hopefully find people who think the same as me and go yeah, we'll, we'll come along with you, you know? Yeah, that's awesome um, and it kind of suits the, the gig you're playing at the Triffid soon um acoustics yeah. with attitude is it? Yeah, yeah. um what what other kind of attitude is present in the new album you're you're releasing soon oh there's definitely a, a there's a few songs that are a bit passive aggressive <laughs> and there's a few songs that are very in your face telling you how, how it is yeah the, the single the previous single give thanks was a, a song i'd written because i'm a, a because i am an absent father i've got children back in scotland you know and it's about making change to re-establish those relationships, mm. trying to do grow and become a, and, and allowing other men who are stuck in a situation as fathers who don't get to see their children that work at life and things will change, things will happen, you know, yeah. believe in that. And so the album is a, bit, a very personal growth and it's very about, uh, as, as me, I suppose as we get older we get a bit more cynical, but I'm certainly, uh, there's optimism there, but it's very, it's not what people might expect from, from Colin Miller, you know. That's great, it sounds, um, you know, covers all, all, all topic of emotions, I guess. Yeah, yeah. well that's caught, I'm a very <laughs> intense fella. <laughs> <laughs> um, now you're Scottish born, um, but moved to Alice Springs, when and, um, yeah, when and why did you move and um, how does the environment, I guess, influence you, especially when you're writing? Uh, well, I didn't 
perform music back home in Scotland. I didn't, I've never, I didn't pick up a guitar. Nobody's actually from my family or uh, apart from recordings, I've actually saw me perform live. Yeah. Uh, I came to Alice Springs uh, in August, that'll be 11 year. Wow. Uh, and it wasn't until maybe a few years into living in Alice Springs, uh, two, 2005, I did a year's travel and I loved it. And then I went away and came back. Uh, that I, that I, started singing a bit and playing the guitar but it wasn't until maybe 2007 2008 I started saying right I want to do this this is what I want to do mm. you know uh, but definitely because of Alice Springs it's that is why I'm doing this it is because that you're in the middle of Australia you're in the mm -hmm. navel of the universe yeah and 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 basically you either make change or you just get stagnant and I decided to make change in my life and make some big changes mm -hmm. and from that I'm now sitting here talking about the fact I've, I've, I've written a, an, an album uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm about to debut a new clip, I'm, about to, I'm, I'm doing a singles tour and then I'll be doing a, na a national tour and I'm looking at touring in Scotland in October. So, and that's all because of one, coming to Australia and two, living yeah. in Alice Springs. Amazing. You know? oh, it, it, really a turning point. Yes. Yeah. I, I think I was a lost soul searching for something, but my soul always knew what I was searching for, like, you know. It's lovely. Um, well. I know you're playing a song for us. Um, you're playing Renegade, yep. which is your new one, so take it away. Thank you. Almighty, can you hear these words I shout out? I ain't gonna live. Backsliders now. Some renegade, and I was born from hell. I'm a Jacobite for a new modern time, and I ain't running. I'm gonna change. I ain't running I'm the bringer of change Don't stop to listen, you'll never hear it all, and I ain't running. I'm gonna change. I ain't running. I'm the bringer of change. beginning of a new morning dawn and they're coming they're bringing change yeah they're coming in every color yeah
That was brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Your voice really projects. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Cold Lily, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank um, you very much for having me. So you're playing at the Gasoline Pony tonight. Yes. Um, if you, anyone watching, if you could stop by, that would be awesome. Look how great he is. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye.